Okay, goodie, another recipe here for the Christmas. How to make Jamaican authentic Christmas sorrel drink in your kitchen. Fast, easy, and simple. Well, yes, as fast as possible. This is the old remedy that Mama showed me. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this. Now, if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit your subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notification settings so you will always be reminded whenever your girl upload a brand new video, right? So, if you want to see all your girl turn up this Jamaican Christmas savory drink in our kitchen, fast, easy, and simple, old fashioned mama way, come on and let me show you how. Let's go. You don't remember where you're coming from. You don't remember where you're coming from. You don't remember where you're coming from. Rest of our eye. Why you turn your back on your brother when him need ya? You know remember the days I'm when him feed ya? You know when no obligation but you win some respect. All you need to do is just give him what you get. Turn your back on your brother when him Okay guys, let's get into the sorrel juice and I'm going to show you how mama made hers. Exactly the ingredients that she put in hers. Now I have one that I made fast, easy and simple. Like one, two, three. Now this is the old school way of Omega show you how to make this one. The only thing is that you know somebody in the US. So I don't have access to go pick my sorrel out in my backyard. Now the best one that I found so far is the Ocherios Sorrel drink. That one comes out really, 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 really nice. We try a couple of them, but the best one was, I think, was the Ocherios brand. Now, this is a 4.8 ounce bag. And it holds quite a lot, and this can serve for a lot, a lot of people. Now, to top this drink off, you're going to need white rice. One teaspoon of white rice. You're going to need about 12 seeds of pimento seeds, right? You're also going to need three leaves, three cinnamon leaves. If you don't have cinnamon leaf, use cinnamon stick. But mama is supposed cinnamon leaves in a her one, so that may I go in. Now we're going to need ginger, fresh ginger. I wouldn't recommend you put powdered ginger in that because it now gives that extra boost of flavor. So make sure so you have some fresh ginger for the recipe. Make sure you overdo this thing. Now, in a container, you want to pour out your sorrel mixer, your sorrel, your fresh sorrel or whatever, in our container. Now, if you was using fresh sorrel from the tree, you wouldn't do this method. You want to rinse it off with some cold water, just like that. Not for long. Make sure you use cold water, right? And you just rinse it off one time, real quick. Just wash it off like that. Now, for this step, you're going to use a big pot. Make sure you have a big pot for this because you're going to leave it covered for 12 hours, right? So we're going to come back and finish up this thing up tomorrow. Now, you want to go ahead and add your sorrel in that pot. To that, you're going to add exactly one and a half gallon of hot boiling water only. Then you're gonna add your cinnamon leaves to it, your rice, and your, what your rice is going to do is preserve that thing. So even if you don't put alcohol in it, it's going to last for a very long time. Then for flavor, you want to put in about 12 seeds of pimento seed. You can add more based on how much you're making. Now you're going to add your ginger. And you want to make sure you beat up that ginger before you add it in there. So that you can get that flavor from the ginger elevated into that sorrel drink. Now you just want to go ahead and mix all this in just like that. You're going to cover it up nice and tight. And you're going to leave it and just let it marinate overnight. Now I'm going to come back here in the morning, 12 hours later. We're going to strain this thing off and we're going to add our wine or rum or whatever feel, right? We're going to sweeten it up real nice and then, yeah, sorry, look already. So, see you back in the morning. So, okay, y'all, it is day number two. 
and that is how your sorrel is going to look in the pot. You see how rich that is? Look at that. That is some rich, rich sorrel right there. So, if you ever smell from this angle, mm -mm -mm, the thing strong as a shame. All the flavor from the cinnamon leaves and your pimento seed and the ginger. Oh my God, the thing smells so good. Now, what you want to do here is go ahead and strain this off. Now, y'all, this is what you have to leave back with. When Mama used to make all our ham for Christmas and all them things there, we used, she used to use this as some form of a marinade to season up the ham. So if you're gonna make ham for the holiday, I guarantee you're gonna need these. Don't throw them out. Don't throw all of it out. Just leave some for later. Look at that. That is nice and rich. Just like mama used to make it in our kitchen, you know? Yes. Now it's time to give that thing the Jamaican authentic flavor. Now, you could drink it just like that. You could don't have to add no alcohol or nothing. But in my kitchen, you're going to add some alcohol and some wine. So we're going to add some Jamaican white rum to it. We're going to add some red label wine or any wine of your choice is fine. I'm going to add about three tablespoons of freshly squeezed lime or lemon. And I'm also going to add about a cup of cane sugar, brown cane sugar to it. You can also add honey and mix that together are we sorry ready you know the sorry ready now y'all this is sorry y'all you can't put it in your fridge for a very long time now if you want to even preserve it from longer time go ahead and put it in bottles and it can stay room temperature for a couple of weeks because that rice that i put in it and that alcohol that's in it is going to preserve this thing for a very very long time here you go goodies we are all done here another authentic jamaican sorrel drink christmas sorrel drink in your kitchen fast easy and as simple as possible If you're watching me making this Jamaican Christmas authentic sour drink in my kitchen for the very first time, be sure to subscribe y'all. Go ahead and turn your post notification settings on so you will always be reminded whenever your girl upload a brand new video. Thumbs up the recipes, share the recipes with friends, family, anybody where you want to share it with, right? On your Facebook page, etc, etc. Let me know what you like to see me cooking next in my kitchen. And as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy! I'm going to let this cook for a good 30 minutes on medium heat. Cover it up nice and make it simmer. And when it don't simmer, a time for eat. So, see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes. So this is in with your foundation for coverage. You know, like, bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's $10 for this palette.